Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm doing some solo exploring. I'm in northeastern Idaho just getting ready to cross into Montana and got a little bit of rain shower here which I can't complain about. We need rain so bad up here in this drought that we've got going on but anyway um, out here next to the St. Joe River just a gorgeous river out here on this really cool wooden bridge got the bike all loaded down ready to do some exploring today but I just want to invite you guys to come along with me check out the ride we're just gonna ride I'm literally going places I've never been before and just want to check out some new spots uh, find a nice little camp spot maybe do some fishing anyway come along with me let's go check it out I recently launched backcountryadvmoto.com. This website puts everything in one convenient spot from videos, social media links, gear reviews, and even a store. If you head over to the store tab, you'll find new swag that I recently put out, as well as a link to all the affiliate sites that provide awesome discounts. Head over to the website, and if you do decide to shop, enter the code BAM15 to save 15% on your entire order just for checking out this video. So like I said, this is the St. Joe River and I am just right outside of Avery. Avery is the town that's on the Idaho BDR. And I'm gonna be not spending any time there. I've already made a video on that and been in that area, but I'm just gonna top off with fuel. It's roughly, oh, I don't know. By the time I get there, about a hundred miles from my house. And my, so go ahead and top off with fuel and I'm gonna go ahead and head into Montana and then from there I have no plan at all I'm really get literally like one of the first roads I come to that looks good we're gonna take it and see where it takes us let's go so this is just, uh... so this is Avery right here I've done a video about this little town before uh, you can definitely check it out. I'll leave it up in the top corner here if you're interested in that about my last solo trip that I did. But pretty neat old railway town. Um, if you're ever in this area and you need fuel, the general store right here has, has fuel. It is uh, $5 a gallon, but no big deal. Well, $4.49. So, little pizza place also that's pretty good. It's closed right now. Um, I did just get some news though that the road up here where I was kind of planning on going sounds like it's shut down due to a fire so I'm gonna head this way for a little bit and then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross the river and go south it's not exactly what I want to do but you know what we're exploring so it doesn't really matter what I want to do we're just gonna go ride so here we go this is some gorgeous pavement right here that follows along the river it's an excellent ride a little bit of a disappointment that it's uh, shut down up here but like I said I, I think what we'll do is we'll cut off on a forest service road or anything that cuts across the river and then we'll go that route we want to make sure you know and not get ourselves too close to any forest fires that are going on one obviously it's not safe and then two it just the smoke kind of sucks so we'll hit, we'll keep heading this direction and see if we can't find a cutoff a little canyon carved right there through the mountain and the river running right into it. That's pretty nice. It's things like this that you miss sometimes when you're out just, you know, going fast and not really looking around. We can slow it down a little bit and really enjoy the ride that's when you start to see the cool stuff like that and i know that the camera doesn't do it justice at all so check out that valley just awesome and i decided to come back backtrack just a little bit I found a road called Prospector Creek Road. It uh, showed that it ended, but it turns out it's actually a pretty amazing road. So 
I want to follow this for a ways and just, just see where it goes. Like I said, this is just an exploratory, exploratory, that's a funny word, an expedition <laughs> of uh, this area. Like I, I haven't ridden this area a whole lot to the south except for the BDR and there's miles and miles and miles of other roads. So just, uh, just checking them out. fireweed down there all this pink flower here it's called fireweed and generally it grows where there's been a, a burn recently the way the soil is that it's attracted to it this hillside drops straight off in this old burn but all the fireweed up here it's just awesome Definitely smoky. Pretty epic. You know, like, a lot of times I get in the mindset that a trail has to be gnarly and difficult for me to really enjoy it and to be honest you know you can ride stuff like this all stinking day and really get a lot out of it also I just it really depends on what your your likes are and your needs but for me just getting out and riding it, it really is therapy for me um, both my my military and my my law enforcement background i got a lot of mental baggage and then every once in a while i just need to get away and kind of hit the reset button so on a route like this or a road like this where it really is not technical where you can look around and see you know all this out here you have to watch for big rocks because that's twice now i've hit one of those looking around but yeah, I mean, obviously it's a clear cut. It's not like it's amazing beauty, but just to be able to see, you know, the, the, the mountain right across the way, you know? I show some peaks called Sister Peaks. So I wanted to see, you know, maybe there's something up there. Well, it looks like they might go up and over. Wow. It's funny, I was kind of hoping to get down low and find some water and do some fishing. But now I'm up the exact opposite at one of the highest points in this area. And I'm excited to see where this goes. Well, you can see the smoke from that fire over there. I guess it was a good thing we didn't go any further. Uh, 
Oh man, there might be a lookout tower up there. We gotta go up. So here we go. actually somebody in this fire tower right here so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time up here but um, they came out and said hi man just wanted to check it out but you can see let's see just over the hood of this car right right here there's a big fire so um, there's also another one out this way so Anyway, just wanted to snap a couple photos. I'm glad I made it up here okay. And now I'm gonna keep on rolling. All right, well that was pretty cool. Didn't stay long. Like I said, there was a, a guy out there and he was friendly, but he was uh, clearly working. Didn't wanna chat much. So we'll go ahead and head down. Hey, I'm just glad that this actually went somewhere and I was able to check it out. So it appears that I came in the back way and that this road is a little bit more um, more traveled than what I was on. So we'll go ahead and follow this down and see where it goes. Kind of the theme of today. Let's see where it goes. It's about 540 right now. I'd like to be at camp within an hour. Hopefully I can set up and you know, see kind of what's going on before I before it gets dark. Nothing, nothing like setting up in the dark. Besides that guy up there, we're all alone, which honestly is what I was looking to do. So, been riding for a little while in the search of uh, a creek or something and it looks like according to my map and everything it's I still got probably 12 to 15 miles before I get to uh, a creek so I'm gonna stay here at this campground there's actually no one here I have the entire place to myself Gonna be home sweet home for the night. So I was at the campground and I saw this little lake on the map. So I decided to come up here and check it out. Should be right here. Huh. Oh man, check this out. Man, I'm glad I did not stay two miles back that way. Cause look at this. What, it's got a dock? 
Man, I got lucky, baby. Heck yes. Let's find somewhere to park. Dude. Yeah, I'll take it. So I just want to show you guys this real quick before it gets too late. So, bike, camp spot. Check this out. Let's go walk over there. I mean, <laughs> I almost stayed at a forest service campground, maybe two miles down the road. And I, I was just about to set up camp and I pulled out the GPS again. And then I noticed this little blue dot that I thought, you sometimes you can't trust those, you never know. But check this out. There's a dock. It's homemade. It's quite a bit like windier here, but I'll take it. That is, this is awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. Let's walk out here and see how sturdy this dock is. Oh, right out of the gate. It moves a little bit. It's just some logs with some boards. Oh, baby. Don't fall through, don't fall through. <laughs> oh, we're good. Popping and creaking a little bit. <laughs> Should try to step where the nail, the nail lines are. Oh man. What an end to a day. Yeah, these are these are starting to get a little squirrely, but oh man. So I'm sitting here changing my clothes and I look over and there is a moose hanging out. Yeah, that moose is just hanging out right there. And I know there's another one over here, maybe even a baby. Just better keep its distance. There it is. And baby moose. There he goes. Got the bike here. I'm not gonna leave this light on very long because lots of bugs, but my tent, a little food area. No campfires here because, uh, well, the fire season is in full swing and the risk is pretty high. So, been listening to a moose and a mom or a mama and a baby play around out there for the last hour or so. One of the things that sucks about not being able to have a fire is critters don't <laughs> go away. And by by that, I mean those, those two moose are still hanging out in that uh, lake over here. And that mom does not like the fact that I'm here. She keeps grunting at me and, and everything else. So tonight can be interesting. We'll see. I mean, I don't... I'm pretty positive she's not going to mess with me, but, you know, you just, <laughs> it doesn't let, allow you to sleep easy when there's a thousand pound animal just hanging out literally within a hundred yards of you. If I die, at least there's a video <laughs> of me talking about it. Keep on moving. She's right there. Nope. Go.
Go away. Keep on. Freaking moose. Go ahead. Keep going. I'm not gonna like this when I turn this fucker on. Keep going. I don't want anything to do with you. Keep going. Yeah, I see you. interesting she was uh giving me the look that i've have seen before <laughs> that look generally isn't isn't good so that got rid of her back to what we were doing can't really see it in the video there is a bear over there maybe you can see his eyes in a minute didn't really even care that I was here so yeah that being said I'm gonna maybe make some dinner here and probably hit the sack because without a fire not a whole lot to do so I just woke up to my moose friend again it's uh, hanging out So I just woke up a little bit ago um, to the moose walking down the road again. Luckily, didn't want anything to do with me this time, and I didn't see the didn't see the the baby with it. So I don't I'm not a hundred percent sure that it's it's the same one. But this um, nice calm morning, a little bit smoky. It did rain a little bit last night, but no big deal. It's all kind of dried out now. I wonder if I can... So the moose is over there. And I think there's actually another one coming up the hill right here. A little bull. Isn't it crazy how they just don't care that you're here? Got something on the side. Or growth. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and drink my coffee and watch these big old beasts. Look at him just take off swimming. Summit Cool Grip Mug. Some dirt on the bottom, but it's uh, got these little perforations on it, these little grips. It keeps your hand cool while holding hot liquids in silicone. 
There are three moose in here right now. There's this one. This one. And this one. Don't know how many fish are in here, if really any. I keep hearing some fish pop the top, but babies over there. It's like they just know that we have like an agreement. Like I won't mess with you if you don't mess with me. Well, no bites. I keep hearing a few fish hit, but no luck. So it's just cool to watch the, the little moose family while I'm doing this. It's like I'm truly in the wilderness right now. But just found another good thing about this uh, camp spot. Huckleberries. Awesome blueberry, but better. Well, it was fun. Mark this one. Definitely stay here again sometime. Good find. It was a real good find. I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. This is uh, the Fish Hook River. Kind of go through this little canyon right here. This is actually the Idaho BDR. I'm about eight miles or so. Yeah, look at that. Eight miles south of Avery. I didn't film a whole lot from the lake to here because there really just isn't a whole lot to see. It's a big wide forest service road and uh, just tied back into the BDR. So. I'm going to go ahead and follow this to Avery. I want to thank you guys for hanging through this video and coming along on this ride with me. Once again, I appreciate the support you guys give for all these videos that I put out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon. That way you know when videos like this are released. I'm going to follow this road into town. Guys, once again, thanks so much for checking out this video. We'll see you next time. I forgot. And then there's this. The river goes around.